as much as possible to keep these rants focused on current events, though some issues probably won't go away anytime soon, like downloading music. I mean, no matter how many legal download sites there are, no matter how many tariffs they put on recordable CDs and DVDs, some people just aren't satisfied with this. Too bad. Now, for the record, I do believe that musicians, like other artists, deserve to be compensated for their work. However, I also believe that doing everything constitutionally possible to crack down on piracy is futile. Anyone who wants to share or download a free file badly enough will find a way to do so. Period. Besides, some of the countermeasures that I've seen make very little sense. For example, some Xboxes won't play recordable DVDs because apparently Microsoft thinks that this will stop piracy with their video games. However, not only can that be overridden by somebody with a lot of time for hands-on work, but also punishes people who may simply want to show their friends a homemade movie, to name one example. So you can probably tell what kind of crim discipline some parties have been to. Also, let's face it, when music companies not only have the nerve to charge $20 for a CD that only cost a few cents to make, but have a practical monopoly on what artists are even shown to the general public, they are the last ones to talk about losing money to one arm bandits. To be blunt, if any business is going to really survive, it has to wake up and change for their audience. If people only want to own one or two songs off, of an, off an otherwise crappy CD, then they should be able to do so. The company can charge something reasonable, say a dollar per track, and that way incurs some loyalty as well as flexibility. It would also help a lot if a greater amount of songs were available. Maybe even tracks that you don't get from the CD. You know, take advantage of the technology. If it worked for DVDs and the Wii, why not give it a try in music? It is sometimes said that without knowing about the past, you can't possibly know your future. There is some truth in that, but I would like to add that without paying attention to the present, you won't have a future. Enough said.